Hello, and welcome to the director's commentary of my great unfinished work, Button Up Your Overcoat. It was taken from the uh, Schwab Brown to Sylvia and Henderson musical, Good News. Um, now, these opening titles, I, my idea for this film was I wanted to make a movie that looked like it could have come right out of the 20s, um, but like as it would have looked then. So it looked good quality, but it was filmed um, besides the digital camera. I used, you know, um, well, these opening titles, they were, I printed them on, on black paper and then filmed them, um, so that, um, it looked like how they would have done it then, so it looked more authentic, and, um, I also used, you'll see in the film, most of the shots are static, they don't move that much, um, they sort of stay where they are, and, um, modern, modern films, lots of shots, but in old 20s movies, the shots were very, very few. Um, and, it, and when there were dance scenes, it was mostly just like, camera sat there and they danced. And like, like that's all they did. Uh, now here, um, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue. There was two minutes of dialogue we didn't film. Um, but that's what it would have happened here. It's not just like opening on the field. So it would have been dialogue, and then from the dialogue, we would have gone to this scene where um, Chelsea Diener, um, as Babe, ah, oh, there she is. She runs on and she sings, button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Um, when, when we reshoot this, I'm hoping to change that dress, because I really like that dress, but the problem is, it makes Buck look shorter, because it's long. And also, that awful black thing, uh, that she wore, she had to wear a kind of, like, strapless thing, but you could see it, because there was no back. Oh, there's me, um, with my old, long hair. Um, uh, long hair and brown hair. Anyway, that was a good look. Anyway, but it wasn't, didn't look very 20s. Um, so that was another problem. But, um... Yeah, so this was our first day of shooting. Uh, we were going to do a few days, but it snowed, so we had to cancel that. Um, oh, here comes the dancing. I choreographed this dance all by myself. I'm so super proud of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, anyway. Um, and it was a little different when I did it, but then we had to change some of it when we got on the bench. This we didn't get as much time to rehearse, that's why... Neither of us do the same thing at that part. Um, oh, I love this shot. It didn't work as I thought it was going to, and when I redid it, I was going to change it. But um, that line was, careful where you park your car to avoid a fee, and we were like, be in a car. All right, now, now there was going to be a lot more here. It was like 30 seconds that we didn't film, but this is the very end. Yep. Well, so that's my little commentary on this. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, camera by the wonderful Megan Trimble. Um, special thanks to YouTuber PM0501. Please visit his, visit his channel. It's wonderful. He has lots of fun things there. Um, that's where I got the tracks for the opening song and the actual track for Button Up Your Overcoat. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching. And, um, please, please, please watch my other videos because they're really fun. Yay. Okay, thanks, guys.